Hey guys, hope everybody's been doing good. I know it's been a little bit, but I decided to come out today with Barrett and Mimi and Papa are out. We're gonna get some cleaning done today. Um, as you saw in the last video, Crop King came out and it was a really big help. And it just really got the whole system kind of going for this deep clean. So now we gotta finish up. Um, gonna do some power washing, some hand scrubbing, uh, something they did was the uh, tubes, they got the old tubes down up on the top up here. So we'll show getting those back up here soon. And we're just really excited to kind of start fresh. I know mom's really excited about that to see just how everything grows new. So we're really excited to keep going with that for you guys. I got all the pads for the wet wall out. I put them out through the um, vent wall and carried them out through the door back here for the insect exclusion. Piled them up on the tank and now I'm gonna get rid of them. So the whole wet wall back here, which you've seen um, cools the greenhouse, all the panels are down and we're gonna get the rest of the pipes and everything cleaned out and then they did end up getting the new panels. So that'll help with just keeping everything fresh and new to start. And you're not supposed to be in here, but it's okay since we don't have anything growing, huh? Um, back here are the tanks. Uh, Mom's just gonna keep these all cleaned out too. And I know she said she's been circulating it with the cleaner still, just to get everything really cleaned up. And then they're talking about flushing out the return lines as well. Um, over here too, these top return lines, um, we're gonna try to figure out some kind of contraption to pull through and get the rest of the uh, little algae and kind of the residue. So these are clean as well. Just clean out the whole thing, get it fresh. So it's really weird coming out here right now with all the environmentals and the fans off. It's just quiet. And um, actually the only thing running are these inflation fans can just barely hear them. There's these two fans right here. And these have been running 24 seven for the past seven years. So I think something dad was talking about doing is ordering backup ones just to have, just in case they go out. Cause if that happens, these deflate and then the wind will just shred the plastic. So definitely something good to have. So with growing a lot of the Asian greens I do, a lot of the roots get into the return pipes. I'm always dealing with them coming into the nutrient tank there. So I know there's debris in my return pipes here. So came up with this uh, solution to clean it out. Going to send this rope down there. It's 125 feet long. Had to put some um, bobber type thing on it so it floats when I put the hose in there. And I'm going to pull it all the way through. You know, as it gets down to the end, I'm going to tie a sponge and some rags to it and pull it through the whole return line to clean anything out. So you see here, I'm starting to feed my 125 foot rope down the four inch return line. I got my water hose going and the rope is just floating on down. So I'm reaching here, grab out the rope. This is a little bit shorter side here, so I got some extra. That floated down the return pipe before I could start pulling everything. But here, whoops, there they are. So there are the little balls that floated everything down for me. And now I'm gonna start pulling it out and pulling the sponge and the rags through. So here's what I got out for my first pull. So I'm really embarrassed to show you guys how much buildup was in there. I had no idea there was that much stuff. So I'm going to pull the sponge through about three or four more times in each of the return lines and get these cleaned up because it's nasty.
I ran the sponge through. Now I'm running clear water through. I see it coming. Here it comes. Look how gross that is, picking up all the debris. So I'm going to have to run the sponge through here a few more times to get this all cleaned out. Comes the water after the sponge has been pulled through. It's all good coming through. It's all loose. the beetle bucket area all cleaned up. Did some vacuuming here. Got the uh, emitter lines picked up. Going to replace those. Doug's going to cut the um, drain lines out for me so we can take those out and get them cleaned out and put them back together with rubber boots and get everything clean. Okay, we're gonna call it a night. It's uh, getting late and we're gonna make this the end of the video. Uh, I still have a bunch of chores to do and we'll be back at it tomorrow. More power washing. Uh, we're gonna get the front area concrete clean, the rest of the plastic, and uh, do a little bit of uh, wipe down. And we're actually gonna start planting the back section of the greenhouse. So that will happen here in the next day or so. So we'll keep everybody informed Hope everyone's doing good. Please uh, remember to like and subscribe. Leave those great comments. Boy, I learned a lot of stuff from a bunch of people that were leaving comments. So have a good night. See you next video.